Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, and Tom Griswold. And now, here's Tom. Bob and Tom. Yeah, well, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, the room is uh, substantially more beautiful than it was just a few minutes ago. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, the yes. Sad. Oh. Uh, well, let's see. Let's. <laughs> I'll introduce everybody. Let's go. I'll just go around the horn. And uh, we have uh, our engineer Ace Cosby. Good to see you, Ace. Good to see you, Tom. Uh, let's see. Chick, Chick McGee you. across the way at the uh, good sports, to see you, Tom. Sports desk. Uh, the lovely and incredibly funny Maria Bamford is right over there. Hello, hello. Nice not, to see you. Not to suggest that you look funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I, I feel like I, I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, yeah. That's funny. Very, very funny. Funny stuff. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> Silly face. Uh, ah. Oh, my. <laughs> very handy. Uh, Josh Arnold is right over there. It's Hi. Good, it's good to see you, Josh. Uh, I love you, Tom. No, are you, uh, well, thank you. Suck up. Very kind of you. Uh, and uh, Christy Lee is at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. This is Tom speaking. Yes. And then we go over here to the Music Corner. With uh, Mr. Pat Gallagher. I love you too. Tom, Tom I in fact, I have a question. Do you love me? Uh, Josh, I'm thrilled that you're here. Oh. No, you didn't answer the question. That that's, sounds, that's, that's very telling, that isn't sounds it? Sounds like a no. Very telling. Okay. okay. Uh, now, um, we have... Uh, you're I, uncomfortable <laughs> saying you love any of us, aren't you? Yes, he is. You have an issue, don't you? You're uncomfortable. You're saying that you love the people who've given you children, probably. <laughs> I love the Beatles. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Love the Almond Brothers. Uh, no, no, I love. Of course, I love my kids. Who doesn't? Now, what? um, uh, we have a, a young lady who said. is a lover in the studio. Yes. Oh, she's a lover, not huh? a fighter. She's, she's a, a she is a Maria Bamford, and she's I know um, Maria, and well, one of the America's finest comedians. Oh, uh, okay. uh, but you are also married. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm married. Uh, it'll be. Uh, we just made it six years. Wow. Woo! Yeah, I've I've never had a relationship last over a year, so this is fantastic. Uh, Great. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, no, uh, it's going very well. Uh, let me see. What about uh, my snuggle uh, bunny? Can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> he's a, you know, he's a he's a painter. I'm a comedian, so we talk about money. And, uh, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. <laughs> We're working about we're working on some a project together. I'm not sure what it is, but he pulls up his his swim trunks all the way up to his <laughs> chin, and then he tiptoes around the pool uh, while I chase him, yelling, "Mr. Cassidy, Mr. Cassidy, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Cassidy." <laughs> I'm try to sell, sell that to Audible. Yes, I love. <laughs> yep, that's Maria. All right. uh, yeah, yeah, no. We're, uh, oh, that's great. Yeah, it's he's he's a good man, and um, we're, we're having a have a good having a good time. All good, right. good. Hey. Six, congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, um, that is uh, absolutely fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. and, uh, one can explore the origin of Mr. Cassidy. Do you yeah. role play at home? Um, <laughs> yes or no? Just yes. Yeah, just or no. answer the question. Just answer the question for once. Of course not. <laughs> Oh, okay. of course not. Yeah, completely course against not. it. Okay. Yeah. It's impossible for you not to pass judgment on anything <laughs> happening. You know that, right? I'm not judging um, uh, Maria Bamford's artist husband. <laughs> no one said that. Oh, you, know, he's, no. you said he's a painter. I he's assume painter. artist, yeah, not yeah, house yeah, painter. So, yeah, so, no, you know, uh, yeah, painter. And so we talk about, uh, like, you know, you're getting, um, I, I don't know how it works for you guys, but uh, have you uh, just... Do people have to ask for raises around here? Mm. I, uh, I I never thought to ask for a raise when I worked. I look, worked tons of minimum wage jobs. I worked at a laundry factory where I'd make wire hangers into one long wire. Uh, no one told me what the business plan, but I still right. inspired. And, uh, uh, I worked at temp agencies where they just you know call uh, Maria. Can you work with sharp objects? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can you meet them at an unmarked warehouse in downtown Los? Angeles when <laughs> starting at midnight you're going to be making airport salads <laughs> okay I buried the uh, I love a wilted cob uh, I was in from the jump but I never thought you know what now I get direct offers to me so like I had a bunch of uh, somebody say would you come to Alabama for 300 bucks all in and I did I did the numbers uh, on my adding machine mm-hmm. And I called him up and I said, hey, how about I just send you two grand? <laughs> 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 it's 
I feel like that's what's going to happen. Okay. Well, uh, that is definitely, let's cut out the middleman. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. The nonsense. But, um, yeah, so, but, yeah, now I'm trying to, um, actually, my friend Jackie Cation, who is here with me today, who will be on the show later, she, uh, her, her dad, um, it, Taught, uh, taught me a, a negotiating technique because the University of Minnesota asked me to do a commencement speech and they said, uh, I said, well, you know, which I said, that's a terrible idea, but that's on you. I love money. <laughs> and, um, but then they said, it, you know, it wouldn't, wouldn't pay. It was just an honor. Um, so I went to Jackie Cation's father, who's an 83-year-old aluminum siding salesman, and he said, you never say no without a number. That means if you're not even sure you want the job, put out something ridiculous, something you've never gotten before in your life. That way, either you get a ton of money or you don't have to do it. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, right. Right. so the university's initial parry was zilch. Yeah. I counter thrusted <laughs> <laughs> with 20 grand. Yes. And uh, I received the following email in response. You dirty little bird. <laughs> Yeah, they didn't say that. They said, we'll get back to you. But I read between the lines. Yes, and uh, yes. uh, yeah, they came back a, a week later with $10,000. I would have done it for 600 plus Aaron Hotel. <laughs> and, um, and then uh, I felt, uh, Mr. Cation said, okay, now you say split the difference, 15, and you only settle for 12.5. <laughs> uh, but the guilt of the old country had done its work. And I went with uh, 10, and then I ended up feeling so bad about myself that I gave the money away to kids in the audience to the spit on their student loans, which sounds like a nice Aww. thing to do. That is the only way I'm able to do kind things if it is in public and it is grandiose. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, Maria oh, Bamford is is, is our guest, um, <laughs> yeah. and I do not know uh, uh, Ms. Jackie Cation's dad, but I bet that's dead on. I bet, yeah, yeah. Right. We, well, we can perhaps you'd have to ha ask <laughs> have her verify that when, <laughs> when she comes in. That was beautiful. Uh, <laughs> so you you had a lot of uh, a lot of um, odd jobs coming up. I think we yes. we all did. Chick, uh, uh, you've been in radio since you were in high school. Yeah, but 18. you you've had a couple. You had a couple of. Uh, Minimum wage uh, job. I detasseled corn. I uh, oh, baled yes. hay. How long I, did you detassel uh, corn? Huh? <laughs> How long was your job detasseling? Oh, just corn? one summer. Just one summer. Oh, for the whole summer. Oh, yeah. Was that really? the gig where you sit in the back of a truck and it drives slowly? And you there are some that you, they have yeah. uh, specially outfitted uh, tractors that you can ride in the baskets, mm -hmm. but there are others that you walk through the fields. And, okay. And pull the tassels off. I'm surprised you did it's, that for a whole summer. I had a I had a pretty good time at that. And then they asked me to come back and bail hay the next summer. Bailing and, hay sucks. And I did that for one day. Well, half a day. I, I oh. hitchhiked home. Oh, so did you get all the, Did time. you get the rash all up and down your arms? Uh, I didn't get that. Oh. Man, were you built at that point? Oh, I bet yeah, you. I was ripped. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Farm boy built. And, 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 and so, so I, if I'm hearing yeah. the story correctly. Rural strength. In, in the process of detasseling corn yeah. in the fields there, you lost... Your your work ethic. Uh, and, and, uh, Is that what happened? What? Yeah. Dropped it somewhere, couldn't find it among the rows. You know, I lost my work ethic here. <laughs> <laughs> when I kept hitting my head against the wall and it, it kept hurting. And Josh, uh, jobs in high school? Uh, Usher at a movie theater, that was my favorite. Oh, uh, that was my dream Besides job. this job, oh, that was my all-time favorite job. Now, when you're an usher at a movie theater, do you really usher people to their seats anymore? Was that We still did when uh, when a, a picture was sold out. We ah. would do that. I remember. A picture. He's, <laughs> in, he's in the business. Uh, he calls yeah. it a picture. Oh, no, yeah. When the movie was sold out, out, I would stand and, and I would say, how many in your party? They would say three and I go, okay. And I would house light. I would, um, this was typically before the movie started. So the house lights were still up. Uh -huh. Did you carry a flashlight though? Yes. Yeah. That, Cause that we like would, we were also, tool. we had to check the thermostats in the theater. So you would have your flashlight for that. Could you get as much candy as you wanted? Not candy, <laughs> but I could get as much soda and popcorn. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. That is Did a good that deal. include butter? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, it, real, okay. real butter or the fish? No, it was the uh, butter flavored topping is what it was called. Uh -huh. yeah. and, and am I correct in saying you you actually prefer that now? I do, and I don't know butter. if it's because that's what I was raised on. <laughs> um, or but, but the real butter to me on popcorn tastes like those butter cookies out of a tin that I hate. Oh, so I, How wrong. much higher is popcorn the cost of? How much more is that going to go up? Aren't oh. we at the maximum price for popcorn? I would think. Yeah, I think. I think it's going to eventually cost as much as toner for any kind of yeah. Uh, yeah. printer Crazy, device. Right? I think is the most expensive fluid ever made. I think made. it's like 16 bucks for a large popcorn and a large drink. My right now. goodness yeah. gracious. Well, you can, you can stop. Yeah, you can yeah. stop paying it. You don't have to get it. Yeah, Hang yeah. on a second. 
Can I help you? With something? <laughs> <laughs> do we do we have a problem? It just yeah. makes me mad. If everybody in like we have 19, a problem in 1955, when right. somebody stepped up, hey, can I get a popcorn? Well, that'll be 15 cents. If they all said we're not paying that, we wouldn't have this problem today. But everybody just paid it. And now we've got, now we're stuck with $16 popcorn. I like the convenience. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It is convenient. Sure. I do. And it's delicious. <laughs> Maria Bamford is our guest. We're in the presence of genius and we're talking about, oh. Christy, you're, you you Tom. worked at Arby's, right? Welcome to Arby's. May I take your order, please?H oh, yes. And that's, that's how, your, great that's how your voice work started. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I worked in radio too at, when I was 15. Good for you. W-N-O-N. No-No Radio is what I called it. Sorry, <laughs> Lebanon. But at the time... <laughs> what is it? No-No Radio? I, that was my joke. I no, know. No, no Radio. W-N-O-N. It's no longer in existence. But it was a small radio station in a small town. It was a lot of fun. I had to go out the door, the front door, to look down the street to see what the temperature was on the bank. Nice. <laughs> Locked myself out oh. one Sunday well, afternoon. You, at least you could also see what traffic was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, had to walk to the fire department to have them get me back in. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow, we've all had those horror stories. Oh, yeah. Uh, Maria, first uh, first yeah. job outside the home? Uh, let me see. Uh, I, I think I babysat, uh, but I am terrified of kids, so that was short-lived. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that'll... I find them just yeah. oh, terrifying. Yeah. They'll just say whatever they want. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, let me see. What You're working I... a restaurant? Uh... Oh, yes. I worked a lot of uh, waitressing jobs. Uh, let me see. Uh, Mexican restaurants and, and pizza places uh, and this is in Minnesota? At, yeah, in the Sabaro, the Italian eatery. Oh, oh sure, yeah, yeah. 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 At the mall? Yeah. yeah, at the mall. Yeah. How long has that been sitting there? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we can warm it right up for you. <laughs> it's our vegetarian stuffed pizza. It's got broccoli, mushrooms, <laughs> onions, and a right ricotta cheese sauce. <laughs> 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 Uh, we'll, 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 let, we'll let Maria stop reliving this horrifying um, segment of her life. She's starting to cry a little I, bit. I, I get, sometimes I get frightened that we're going to bring in a bring back some horrible flash. And let's see now. Uh, that's Ace Cow's Bear Engineer, of course you know Ace. Hello, friends. The voice, the legend. Uh, let's see, Chick McGee across the way. About what? to what finally going? unveil oh. the <laughs> shoe of the week Super Bowl pick. Oh, jeez. Can't wait to hear it. Yeah. There's uh, Josh Arnold over there. Hi. Uh, that's Christy Lee Hi. at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Pat Godwin is the man hey. with the guitar over there. We haven't heard much music from him. Well, we, we have two great you. guests. I only we get a song out of you. Uh, I heard during the break, Jackie say she hates music, which is weird. Um, well, let's see now. Uh, Tom she loves to dance. Tom, 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 Jackie, he's having a giant problem with that. I can tell you that right now. She didn't say she hated music. She said she's. I not. did. I don't know anything about it. I, you know, I have a podcast called The Dork Forest, and I just recorded one about Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, guess what I learned? Stevie Nicks was in Fleetwood Mac. Did you guys know that? You didn't know that? <laughs> not offhand. Yeah. No. Yeah. But you know wow. what? That you know what I'm here for? I'm 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 here to take the bullet for everybody who didn't know that and then oh. needed to learn that. Yes, because I was like, oh, is Stevie Nicks in Fleetwood Mac, and then there was a pause, and the person I was interviewing who loves Stevie Nicks uh, and Fleetwood Mac—that's their dorkdom. It's right. the dork for us. Uh -huh. She was like, what? You don't know that? And I was like, no, just tell me. There's no reason. Can you name Can you name two Rolling Stones? Uh, Yes, yes, I can. Come on, uh, uh, Keith Richards. Yes, yeah. and Mick Jagger. Yay! Very good. Jagger, yeah. Can you name all four Beatles? Um, oh. Brian. No, yeah. no, no. That's the Beach Boys. That was the manager. There we go. That's okay. <laughs> it's uh, and they were in Fleetwood Mac. Uh, yeah, that's, the Beatles name, were in Fleetwood Mac. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Can you name the brothers yeah. that are the that are on the Beach Boys? The Jonas Brothers. <laughs> yep. Okay. So Neil Jonas, Nick Jonas, Kevin. <laughs> Sorry, Bobby Jonas. Kevin. It's, uh, no, it's not, I, I, our good Jonah? friend. Our good no, friend. Nobody the, wants uh, to talk Jonas? to me about Harry Chapin, do they? No, I do. nobody does. Do you? I like I do. Jump, oh, in, oh, jump yeah. into the fire. I'll talk about that. We all happen day. to. Uh, we happen to know a, a huge Harry Chapin fan, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Sitting right here. Thirty thousand pounds of bananas. Do you know it? I do. I do know it. Do not. I do so. Make of make of car he died in. Uh, oh, <laughs> was a, a Lincoln Town car. Nope. Don't know. It's a Volkswagen, sorry. All right. Oh boy. Uh, How now, did you know that? Huh? There's a lot of fun facts flying around yeah, here. I got a lot and of random music. He didn't even look facts. it up. He just knew it. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah. I asked him about Art Garfunkel. 
Oh, oh no, please don't. <laughs> you know who are Garf- Simon and Garfunkel, oh. right? Do you, you know Garf- Garfunkel and Oates? Do you know those Sure. Yeah. 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 They've been in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So They're now, good times. Uh, you guys are friends. Uh, We're Jackie, friends. Jackie Cash and Maria Bamford. Uh, do, you, do you do an impression, Jackie, of your friend Maria? I don't. I do an impression of Maria, Maria's mom. Oh. oh. Because what I have is I can do impressions of other people doing impressions. Oh. I cannot do impressions of actual people. <laughs> I can only go, here's my impression of Maria's mom. Maria, it's... There's oils. I know you don't want to believe me, but there's oils. <laughs> and it's more just the timing than anything. It's a, do you remember when she said yes, that to you? Yes, yes. Honey, don't put your skin on the quilt because th- there's oils. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't want to believe put, me. You don't want to believe me, but there's this. <laughs> you need to put your, the sheet between your skin and the quilt. There is that mom gene oh. that I know you don't want to believe me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. want to believe me. You, does, your, um, does your mother enjoy your impression of her? Does she find it accurate or humorous uh, or I, annoying? I think now that, you know, sometimes it gets her a bump up when she's at a, <laughs> a Hampton Inn. Maybe she's at a, uh, you know, an extra granola bar or something, you know. Uh, hot cookie. Yeah, yeah. Hot, uh, hot cookie cookies, at a double yeah. tree. You yeah, know, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, that, yeah, that she's, she's, and she, I, although I did have to ask her specifically to say this, she does say on a regular basis, I'm very proud of you. I try not to give her line readings, but I, <laughs> sure, a little sure. slower, more up, up at the end. Yeah. I am very proud of you. <laughs> That's it, Marilyn. Uh, Maria Bamford, you are you're also like a kind of a voice artist. You do a little, some TV yes, stuff. Yes, yeah, I do a few a few voices did, anywhere. Did, though. Ever at been asked to audition for something you you couldn't get get couldn't figure out how to do it? Oh, for sure, all uh, the time. Yes, all the time. Yeah, I just uh, I, I I only I probably do about <laughs> six different voices, uh, and then. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't really. Uh, I'm not very good at doing the celebrity impersonations, that type of thing. Uh, but um, I, I'm. I'm always willing to try. Uh, mm. Have they asked uh, you to maybe give a shot at like June Foray, like the Rocky Squirrel, or anything? Of- oh no, no. I, I. But there are people who are genuinely, you know, gifted. I think at that. At that. that uh, type recreating. Of, uh, recreating Mimic, yeah. characters, and I. That is. That has not been my gift. Up out of sloth or lack of talent, we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> How can we know? <laughs> now, on uh, Maria's show, she had there was an episode uh, on Lady Dynamite yes, where um, the, uh, her uh, uh, she had a boyfriend who fell in love with. Uh, uh, Diane. Yeah, right. yeah, just the, the voice I use all the, you know, if I use this all the time, what kind of people would I meet? <laughs> <laughs> and who would be, con- you know, who would be drawn in? <laughs> and wouldn't everyone? <laughs> yes, the whole episode is him just, you know, and then I finally admit to him that, you know, this is my voice and he's, you know. He's gone. He's so <laughs> Don't let the door hit you. Yeah, 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 yeah. so, oh well. Does your husband ever ask you to not do a voice? around him or uh, do, do you ever f- fall into them as a joke uh well so uh, yes yeah, sometimes i i know i uh uh i will joke about stuff that it's like oh uh hey i wish you <laughs> <laughs> too soon uh, yeah my mother just died uh please stop too dark um, but um yeah. um yeah no he he's he's a good he's a good sport um for the, uh, yeah okay, so good. far it's You'd have to ask him. I think that is okay. Okay, we we we, we, we will if we have a chance. Give him a jingle. Now, um, here he is. I got real quick, real quick letter. (laughs) All right, got an email here. Dear Bob and Tom show, I've only been able to listen to the show uh, for about twenty minutes. This was about. 12 minutes ago. When is Chick going to make his Super Bowl oh, pick? God. I always follow his pick with a $100 bet. Thanks, Joe. Okay. That's all right. not true at all. Yeah, he, he'd like to hear he's it. He's being sarcastic. He And if you think he's serious, <laughs> you're living in a fool's paradise. Well, mm-hmm. we're just waiting I, for you to I, unlock that I'm vault. I'm laying the points. I'm taking the Chiefs, and they're going to cover it. There you go. All okay. right. There's the And you'll pa- be giving us the your Packers? pick. Packers? No, nope, Chiefs oh. and the 49ers are who are going to be in those. Okay. Yeah, but the 49ers have a <laughs> deep bench. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of talent on that yeah. team. Yeah, she's right. Back Spirit. to you, Tom. Thank, thank you very much. Oh, I thought we would, uh, we have a couple quick news stories I wanted to get out of Christy Lee. Yeah? We were talking the other day about the, the Hummer. 
Yeah. The the, the vehicle, sorry. The Humvee, yeah. yeah. The, the, because oh, not the Oral. Not the, no, no, sorry, okay. please. Oh, don't get dirty. Please. No, no. Not please. in front of guests. Um, Welcome now, um, to 1997. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I made this this point. There was a time in which every, every radio station... I think it's blowy now. But had, to have a, had, to have a, had to have a had to have a Humvee, whatever you Sure, called. yeah, they were the... And then, oh. uh, then there was that period of time where every radio station had to have that giant boom box that drove around town. Yeah. And I just saw one of those not too long ago, and it's I think that... People of a certain age are going, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a giant boombox. What's a boombox? Yeah. They've been gone for so long. Maybe they should just drive around giant earbuds. Uh, but uh, uh, this is a story about the Hummer. Yeah, it's General back. Motors is bringing the Hummer back. But this time, ladies and gentlemen, it will be electric. Oh. GM announced it will start selling a battery-powered Hummer pickup truck in September of 2021. Hmm. The battery will generate the equivalent of 1,000 horsepower, will able to... Uh, be able to go from zero to 60 in three seconds and will produce 11,500 foot, foot, feet, pounds of torque. Part of the new Hummer will be shown in a 30 second ad, though, featuring LeBron James during the Super Bowl, and the truck will officially be unveiled May 20th. And will it just drive for 30 seconds and then need to be recharged? I don't know the answer. Fair okay. question. Mm -hmm. But the mm -hmm. just the name, the electric Hummer, Sounds like a, a, a dance in the bathroom at the like Studio 54 <laughs> in the men's room about 1977. I thought it was Pat's song, Electric Hummer. Oh, it's, a, it's an underrated uh, Robert Redford film, isn't it? The Electric oh, Hummer. Yeah. Jane Fonda. <laughs> yeah. I love that movie. <laughs> yeah. The Electric Hummer. He wears a suit and it's uh, lighted. Yeah. Electric Hummer also sounds like something you'd have to buy online discreetly. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Lilo. There's nothing wrong with getting personal pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> now, now say it as You're your mother. Right. Well, oh. That's, oh. that's private. Yeah. <laughs> Please. You know, and, oh and you know, and I want to tell you that we do have an excellent sex life. <laughs> my husband, you know, I'm 76, he's 79, and there is nothing that we can't do. And we, it's so, sex is so important. <laughs> Certainly is. Yeah, really. What does Diane think? <laughs> oh, God, I am so sexual. I'm just such a sexual person. I can't. It's almost like my body is, is an organ. <laughs> you know what that's like? You know, I, it's like a jukebox. But uh, it's it's lovely. You know, I just, I, you know, some people say, you know, when, when are you not on? <laughs> I'm a natural extrovert. Yeah. Uh, by the way, for those of you that are listening yeah. and not seeing, that's all coming from Maria. That's disturbing. Yeah. It's so scary. It's that delight. sounds like a different. It is person. a delight. You're right, Jackie. <laughs> okay, so both you guys, if I'm getting this, if I'm getting it right, you both found your the the the, the person you're married to online. Yes. The and interwebs. You, and, and you both, it began with some kind of exchange, either on the phone or internet. Then it was coffee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. you know, so you said you did, what, 70 coffee trips oh, or something? Probably, yeah, coffee over the trips. years. I mean, I, I, and then I had different, you know, relationships over time. But I think, uh, yeah. Do you, do, my question is, do you judge them by their coffee order right away? Is there, is there some kind of a, oh. I tended to like the... <laughs> Oh, no, uh, no, I, I just, my, my uh, needs are just somebody who's, who's down, you know, down for the count. You just want somebody who's like, uh, do you want to be in a long-term relationship? Is that right? You're, you want to work it out no matter what? Yeah, all right. Let's do it. <laughs> Whatever coffee you drink so, or... You didn't like it either. If you're a cappuccino guy, I'm out. Yeah, no. You order Sanka, no. I'm leaving. No. Andy Ashcraft doesn't even drink coffee. Oh, well. Oh. So well, your husband, your date, how did you then? meet him then if you didn't go out for coffee? We went out for breakfast. Oh, uh, really? He's breakfast people. Sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not made of stone. <laughs> <laughs> he likes a fresh squeezed orange juice. Yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Breakfast date. <laughs> All right. Wow. It was a breakfast date. Yeah. yeah. It was. Uh, he was. He was smart. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah but I'm. I'm. I'm uh, and I think. Uh, Jack and I are just like, I'm not picky I just want somebody who's around you know, it's like, uh, right I decided to let someone be nice to me yeah that's what I did it's, it Pleasant is important and that's around. a big step yes, it is a big is step a especially big step. in stand-up comedy yes. yeah. where you're yeah. just like oh he was so funny but what a jackass yeah. and you're like oh that's right how about how he can be funny and not mean how about right. that yeah. and uh, <laughs> it's possible very very good this is fascinating
fascinating. Um, now, do we we have a couple more stories? What would you judge? Like you judge their smell right away, right? <laughs> yeah, Probably a thing. shirt. I would never be. I would be. Could never under any circumstances have gone on an internet date. Never. No, no. I think that's why you're so fascinated by it because yeah. you, you yourself would, would not do it. It is rough. How did you meet your, your wife? Uh, <laughs> Well, first of all, it's he hasn't story. had one yet. Uh, <laughs> no, but well, I mean, as far they, as we know, they're not. I, could, I just, yeah. you know, what if you show up and they, you know, they, they've got like some horrible odor or they. <laughs> oh, then you excuse yourself and say, yeah, this has been mean, nice, but. No, I don't. Oh, in I polite just society. Not feeling well. Yeah, there are yeah. ways to, right. to get out of it's it. Okay. It's all good. You know, I, I, I think I had one. It was a guy was an evangelical Christian slash bodybuilder. And we met like in the first, and it, it was actually a blind date. Somebody had set uh, set us up, and I was. It was just so uncomfortable. I was just like, I think, I think we both gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. And you just hightail it. Mm -hmm. and you yeah. get yourself a treat at Seven Eleven. Yeah. Uh, treat yourself right. Yeah, yeah. You've, yeah. You've done. You've done a good job. By you get yourself up. a Slurpee. You go. Yeah, you get yeah. a nerd's rope. <laughs> you left yeah. the house. <laughs> A Slurpee. Yeah, at 7-Eleven. Uh, yeah, that, that's, yeah. that's the kind of treat you'd go grab at a 7-Eleven. Sure, yeah. of course. I, I like a small packet of donuts. What, what's everyone eating at the 7-Eleven? Yeah. What's I'm everyone not, going for? Um, I'm not getting the eggs. No. No, 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 no don't no, do that. No, no. I have a friend who gets the eggs. Oh. Wow. I, I like the salads. The chicken I salad, the ham salad. Oh, really? The yes. Wow, sure. gutsy stuff. Yeah, I know. Russian it sounds roulette, like salmon. I'm out there. Yeah. I like the donuts, too. Do you go chocolate or powdered sugar or the crunch type? Chocolate, powdered okay, sugar. Yeah. There's too too many witnesses. The, yeah, you're exactly yeah. right. Yeah, I don't eat anything from places. Of course like you that. don't. Oh. What was the last yeah. time you had a? You know what? It just dawned on me. You sound like the male version of Diane. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. So well, I just I, find I you so fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> well, Di Diane, I, I really don't want to sleep. No, no, it's I not don't. about that. This is about business. <laughs> no, I okay love we... business. I have pens. <laughs> there you go. Many pens. Oh I don't know what's happening here. Watch the entire show live or on demand with the Bob and Tom VIP All Access Pass. Listen live with the Bob and Tom app and make sure to visit BobandTomStore.com. Tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.